Hi everyone. So today I am going to teach you about money. Now this is a new tool that I'm using. I'm able to record my screen and talk to you at the same time, which is really exciting. So we are beginning to learn about coins. So as you can see on this picture here, it says Canadian coins. And then it asks if you recognize any of these coins. So you might already know what some of them are. Maybe you even know what they are worth. So I want you just to take a minute and see which ones you recognize. Okay. So at the bottom here, it says our money is in dollars and cents. The symbol for a dollar is that, and the symbol for cent is that. So maybe you have seen those two symbols somewhere else. Maybe if you've gone to the grocery store and you see the price listed on the price tag, you might have seen those symbols. So these coins here, if you can see where my, co where my cursor is, these are coins that represent cents. And then these coins over here represent dollars. So we're going to learn a little bit more about those. Okay, so here, these are pennies. And pennies are worth one cent, and that's how we write it. These are nickels, and they're worth five cents. These coins are dimes, and they are worth 10 cents. These coins are quarters, and they are worth 25 cents. Now we are moving into the dollars. So you might recognize these coins. This one is a loony, which is worth $1. And this is a toonie, which is worth $2. Now here it says, the penny or one cent is not in circulation, but it is still legal tender. Now what that means is that we don't use pennies anymore. They don't make any more pennies. You might have seen pennies. Maybe you have some old ones. I know I have some old ones still in my house, but they don't make any. And if you notice that when you go to the grocery store, if you are paying with cash or by coins and something is... 51 cents you don't actually have to give 51 cents it actually rounds down to 50 cents so we don't actually have to pay with pennies unless of course you are paying with a card so maybe your parents pay with a debit card or a credit card and then they might be paying um, prices that end in a one I know that's a little bit confusing but that's what it means if it if when it says a penny is not in circulation anymore and then it says the Royal Canadian Mint stopped making pennies in May 2012. So the Royal Canadian Mint is just where the coins come from. Okay, moving on. So on a coin, there is a head side and a tail side. So maybe you know uh, which one is which if you've played a game. I know sometimes I will flip a coin to decide who gets to go first, and maybe you have done that as well. And so these are the heads of the coin. And on the head, it's Queen Elizabeth II, if you know who that is. And on the other side is the tail side. Now the tail side is a different picture on each one of these coins. Can you tell what pictures are on each of the coins? We'll look a little bit closer in a minute. Okay. So this is the penny, and the penny has a maple leaf on it. And you'll notice that on the penny, it says one cent right there, just to remind you in case you forget. The nickel has a picture of a beaver. And again, it says five cents up there in case you forget what it's worth. Now the dime has a picture of a boat. Now the dime is worth 10 cents, it says it really tiny there. And the quarter has a picture of a caribou on it. And the quarter, again, remember, is worth 25 cents. Okay, moving on to our dollars. 
So this is a loony. And it is worth one dollar. Now this is a toony and it has a polar bear on it and it's worth two dollars. Okay, so you might be wondering if we don't use pennies anymore, why do we still have to learn about pennies? And so that's a really good question, but we still need to learn about pennies because pennies help us learn how to make other amounts of money. Okay, and that'll make sense in just a minute here. So you can see here that we have one, two, three, four, five pennies. Now we know pennies are worth one cent each, which means that five of these pennies equals five cents. Do you remember what other coin is worth five cents? A nickel is worth five cents. So here it says you can exchange five pennies for a nickel. So in other words, five pennies is the same, this is the equal sign to show that it's the same as a nickel. Now here, it shows 10 pennies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 pennies, and we know each penny is worth one cent. So that's 10 cents. Oops. Okay, here we are again. So here we, let's count up how many pennies we have here. Actually, this is a picture of a quarter right here. Now, do you remember how much a quarter is worth? A quarter is worth 25 cents. So these pennies should be equal to 25 cents. So that means how many, how many pennies do we have here? 25, right? Because 25 pennies is 25 cents, and that's equal to a quarter, which is also 25 cents. Now there's a question here at the bottom that I want you to try to answer. How many pennies, or one, swing, one cent coins, because pennies are worth one cent, how many pennies do you think a loony is worth? Take a minute and see if you have a guess. So a loony, or one dollar, actually is 100 pennies. Okay, so it's equal to 100 cents. Now two dollars is equal to 200 pennies. So you had a group of 200 cents that is the same as two dollars. But we don't want to walk around with 100 or 200 pennies in our pocket, right? So instead we just carry loonies or toonies. All right, now here it says when you pay for something, like if you're at a store, grocery shopping, or at the mall, you can pay with different coins that add up to the same amount. So if something costs 10 cents, you have different ways that you can pay for that item. In this case, you could use two nickels because five cents plus five cents equals 10 cents. Or you could use a dime because a dime is also worth 10 cents. Now, if we still had pennies, you could also use 10 pennies to pay for something that costs 10 cents. Now, if something costs $2, you have lots of different ways to pay for that. But two options here are two loonies, which equals $2, or one toonie, which equals $2. Now, of course, there's lots of different combinations that you could make with coins as well. And we will be practicing that later once we learn about all the money. Okay, so now I have some questions that I want you to try to answer. This question is, how many dimes are equal to one loony? So remember, a dime is worth 10 cents, and a loony is equal to 100 cents. So how many times would I have to add 10 together to get to 100? So it's really the same as skip counting by tens all the way to 100. So what do you think? All right, let's look. 
So let's count how many dimes. And let's count by tens because we know dimes are worth 10 cents. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now we know 100 cents is equal to one loonie. But how many dimes did I have here? 10, right? So 10 dimes is equal to one loonie. Let's go back and see what the other question is. Ooh, this one's even trickier. How many quarters are equal to one loonie? So remember, quarters are worth 25 cents and loonies are equal to 100 cents. So how many times do I need to add 25 plus 25 to get to 100? All right, let's see if you're right. So here we have one, two, three, four quarters that are equal to one loony. Because if we can count by 25s, and this is a little bit tricky, because we haven't learned counting by 25s, but let's see if we can do it. 25, 50, 75, 100. So 100 cents equals one loony. Okay. So it says you will need to recognize and describe all the features of the coins to know their values. This will help you to count the money and to work out money problems correctly. We will be practicing this together. So this is just the beginning. This is something new. Maybe some of you know money already and maybe some of you don't and that's okay. We're going to be learning this together. Um, what I do have is I have some questions that I would like you to answer um, on paper today. So I am going to switch to my phone to show you how we are going to set up our page. Okay, so here I have my numeracy activities booklet and you can set up your page just like mine. So I have the date at the top, May 1st, 2020, and then I have three questions for you to answer. Now, kindergartens, you might need some help uh, with these questions. If you want to just write number one, number two, and number three and not copy down the question, that's okay. Or you can copy down the question so you remember what you were answering okay so on this page i want you to show me your work so i know how you solved the question now the first question says how many pennies make a nickel so think about how much a penny is worth and how much a nickel is worth so how many pennies would you need for it to be the same as a nickel so that's what you're going to show me right here number two how many nickels make 25 cents? Now think, how much is a nickel worth? And how many will you need to equal 25 cents? So you can write it down for me if you want. You could even draw pictures of coins with how much they are worth in the middle. Completely up to you. How many dimes make two quarters? Ooh, this one's a little bit tricky. So for this one, you need to remember how much a dime is worth and also what two quarters are worth, okay? And you're going to try to show me here how you solved it. Then once you're done, take a picture and you can show me your work. Hope you had fun, bye.